Hello, my name is Anna Marciniak uh, from Spain. Uh, I am recording today for you a special session for the beginning of 2020, the new year. Here with me is my working student, Zuza Bednarz from Poland. Hello. And uh, Zuza has some serious questions uh, to start, to be able to start and proceed with this new year with the full energy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I would love to ask you how we can use this time to maximum. How at the end of the year we can feel that we really use it to the fullness. Thank you, Zuzza, for this beautiful question. How to use this time to the fullness? We Every year we all set goals and we try to fulfill these goals later during the year. But you can see that many times as the year goes by, we forget about our goals or our goals change. And this is natural because goals are always reflecting our current state of tensions. Yes, if we have such a such tensions, we set such a such goals. Usually our goals are designed in such a way to help us to push through our tensions, yes? Like, oh, I have problems with this, like with my weight, so I will go to the gym, I will eat less, I will go on the diet, I will run every second day two or three kilometers. But you can see that later these goals are not valid and it's very hard to stick with them. The same goes for the horse. I will uh, ride my horse every day and then after several uh, rides you see that it is pointless. It only makes you and your horse more tense. So I suggest you to set at the beginning of this new year 2020 not goals but dreams. Because dreams are always a reflection of our awareness, not tensions. And dreams are not changing. You can see that probably since several years, if, if not from the earliest childhood, you have similar dreams. <laughs> yes? yes. Uh, and this is why we should, at the beginning of the new year, we should always set dreams. What dreams do I have? What actions can take me closer to these dreams? What must change in my life to allow me to fulfill these dreams? And then it's more like a fluid plan. It's more allowing more space, more flexibility. But you will see that at the end of the year, you will be closer to your dream. And um, the steps taken along the way in order to fulfill these dreams uh, will be based on relaxation, will be more um, removing obstacles than pushing through the obstacles. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really wonderful answer. And I feel like it already is helping me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Already yeah. helping. <laughs> so I'm already inspired. <laughs> wonderful. Yes, I would also love to ask you, um, I sometimes have a feeling that no matter what I do, it is not enough. That I am not enough. I am not doing enough. Mm. Thank you, Zuza, for uh, saying that. I think that it is a very shared experience of many people. But in my feeling, to what I feel, it is coming through, coming from the place of exactly setting goals. Yes that when you try to push through tensions, you will always get stopped. You will always feel this is not enough. I am faced, you know, against the wall. I cannot take any more steps. It is because the nature wants you, wants us to see that we must not push through the tensions. That the question is not to do more, but to do things differently and maybe start from a different place all together. Start not from the place I need to achieve this and that, but start from the place my dream is this and that. Mm -hmm. And I want to do this and that because this is my dream. And then you will see that whatever you do, you will feel like already accomplished because it will be taking you closer to your dream. 
it will not be uh, this is my goal and I am here and we have to meet and crush and I have to crush my goal and I have to fulfill it and it has to, you know, I have to break through this. Uh, but uh, because this creates this sensation that I am not doing enough, when we change the perspective, when we start from the dream, innocent dream of learning new thing or dream of fulfilling something that you for a long time was thinking about, you will see that your whole perspective changes. And one action, even if not sufficient today, will open new actions tomorrow. And these new actions, even if not sufficient, even if not fulfilling your dream 100%, will direct you in another direction, will point you to the right people and right places, right journeys, right choices that will open yet another and another and another possibilities. And then by opening all these possibilities, we will end at the place in which our dreams are fulfilled. Mm, beautiful, thank you. Maybe you have some tips or ideas how we can connect more with our dreams. Very beautiful question, thank you, Zuzan. Very important. The dream, what is the dream? The dream is an idea that is fearless. There is no fear in the dream. There is no fear of failure in the dream. There is no fear of judgment in the dream. There is no fear of losing something if the dream is not fulfilled. The dream is self-sufficient energy that gives you even more energy the closer you get to the dream. Uh, it is like this uh, spinning we are all for hamsters. Yes, the more you run, the faster it makes you run. This is the dream. The dream is such an energy that gives you more energy if you fulfill it. But when connected, uh, connecting with our dreams, first of all, we have to ask ourselves whatever idea comes to you. And if you want to ask yourself, is it a dream? Is it uh, tension-free? Is it... Uh, fear free and is it judgment free uh, are you thinking oh i want to do it but oh i am afraid if i am not successful someone will f think or say that i am a failure then it's not a dream mm -hmm. yes if you set a dream and you think oh but what if i am not able to fulfill it what will happen no oh, this is not a dream if you set a dream and you think what I am going to lose on the way to fulfilling this dream, it is not a dream. Mm -hmm. Yes, so these few criteria are extremely important when fulfilling, when setting our dreams, that it must be fear free, it must be judgment free, so you must not be afraid that someone or yourself will judge you on the way to the dream and you must not uh, be afraid that uh, the, this, this fulfillment of this dream, this path to this dream, will make you lose something on the way. Lose what you already have, lo lose what you may gain, or even lose what you think that your dream may allow you to gain if you not fulfill it soon enough. Mm, wonderful. I was also wondering why we get lost so often on the way. Why we know such beautiful things, for example, because listening of what you say, but we still tend to forget and to get lost. <laughs> I think it's because we don't have sufficient relaxation every day. Because uh, it is very true. We listen to very beautiful things, they resonate with us, we think, yes, this is what I want to do. And then we go out, we get tense and we forget because our tensions take over. Mm -hmm. 
And this is very important to remember about that, that to sustain your dream, you need to have relaxation. Without that, you will get distracted. It is like you have the beautiful idea that you will go to your horse and you will have nice relaxing hacking. And on the way, I don't know, maybe your horse feels stiff on the right rein or gets a little bit spooky when bikers pass by or maybe uh, you saddle him and you look at him and you think, oh my God, he's fat. Okay, let's put the <laughs> relaxing hacking away and let's focus on uh, con conditioning trotting over poles today. And this is how we forget about dreams. We get distracted by things that are really not important. Of course, having a straight horse, relaxed horse, and a horse that is in a good condition is important. But we can also achieve it through focusing on our dreams. If you go on the hack and you will not get distracted that at the beginning of your hack, maybe your horse is a little bit uneven on the reins, by the end of the hack, you will have beautifully foaming, relaxed, even horse. When you not foc when you are not focused that your horse may be spooked when biker passed by unexpectedly, you will come back home having totally relaxed horse that doesn't care that a car or two bikers pass by. If you stick to your dreams and you proceed with hacking, after several days, your horse will be very fit and will be also very healthy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yes, so this is, uh, to me, this is all uh, about being really uh, relaxed and not distracted because every day is like provides us uh, pockets full of stones. Yes, the little stones that are not very heavy, but when you reach uh, down to your pocket, you are not taking out your dream. You are feeling only all these little stones and it's very easy to get overwhelmed and to be focused on all these unimportant things instead of taking hand into the pocket and looking, looking, looking there to find your dream mm. and taking this dream out. Wonderful. Would you like to share your dream, your dreams? I think that everyone has their own dreams and it's very important that the dreams are private. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Because we live in such a society and in such a um, growing up situations that we compare ourselves with others. And it's very important not to start this race mm -hmm. to more smart and more humor, uh, humor, uh, humanitarian or ecological <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Any dream that you have is perfect. If your dream is to bake the most tasty cupcakes, It's, it's a beautiful dream. If your dream is to get slim butt, it's a beautiful dream. But it must be honest. Mm -hmm. And it must come from yourself. If your dream is to ride beautiful a fortress uh, Grand Prix, it's a beautiful dream. But it's very important not to start uh, uh, comparing our dreams with others. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to save my dreams for myself not to uh, create a situation in which someone with different dreams may feel ashamed mm -hmm. that their dreams are not sufficient. Or maybe all the way around that someone doesn't get discouraged that I have such shallow dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any insights about the general vibe of uh, this upcoming year? I feel that the last years were years of high energy and I feel that many people are starting this new year feeling very tired and lost. And I feel that uh, for many people the quest of this new year will be to find a way to act slowly. 
Yes, we tend to live in a society that burns us out. And the last years, starting from 2014, were very high energy years that supported a lot of change. And to my personal perception, these new years to come, several years to come, will be years that will teach us how to still act slower, but still fulfill our goals on different frequency of energy. Mm -hmm. And this will be a beautiful experience how to uh, achieve through resting. It doesn't mean that this lower frequency means that we will go asleep or not be able to achieve anything. It is like different flow. Mm-hmm. as we were speaking yesterday while, while practicing with horses. Like it is this flow of spreading and letting go mm-hmm. more as compared to the flow of rising and, and ex- like exploding. This is more the flow of implosion and spread. But we will all learn that through such an energy, we can still act and we can still be successful. Mm -hmm. I would also love to ask how we can support our horses in fulfilling their dreams. I think that people generally too much focus on the dreams of their horses. And we end up guessing And whenever uh, I feel animals and whenever they speak to me and whenever I have a beautiful opportunity to to connect with people who are even more connected with animals and nature, the message that comes is that the dream of our animals is to support our dreams. Oh, that's so beautiful. And they cannot understand why we are so focused on their dreams because whenever I ask them, they say that they are already fulfilling their dreams. (laughs) 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 That they are more like uh, doing that. We are more like walking around this subject. And not so long ago, I had a talk with uh, someone who confirmed it (laughs) with me also that um, we are very focused on fulfilling all the dreams, dreams of planet, dreams of our animals, dreams of people who live with us. And we forget about our dreams. And we are like a candle light that goes dimmed. Mm-hmm. Because of that, because the light of life, the energy to live comes from con- being connected and being able to fulfill our dreams. This is amazing, really. Mm-hmm. So for the upcoming year, I wish all of us to connect with our dreams, to not replace them with goals that are very s- short-sighted um, steps forward. They will not take us far. Dreams, however, you can see that a good dream can guide your whole life. Mm -hmm. And by connecting with our dreams, we will support everyone who is around you, around us, because honestly, we are built, we come together to build communities that share similar dreams not similar goals, similar dreams. And when everyone individually focuses fully on fulfilling their dreams as a community, our lift up energy to fulfill the shared dreams is bigger. Wow, this is so inspirational. Thank you very much. Thank you, Suzanne. Yes, I feel like I am ready for the new year. <laughs> Perfect. So the goal I, is I achieved. I feel really looking forward to this, mm-hmm. and what we can do. So to, so to just shortly sum up, uh, today, lie down for a moment. You can do your body mark session. And after your body mark, while you are still in a state of deep muscle relaxation, 
uh, connect to the dream. Just ask yourself, what is my dream? And whatever comes first, even if this is a dream to have a clean house this year, or even if this is a dream to learn how to write on the beat, don't judge it, just follow it, because dreams are good. Mm -hmm. Dreams are fearless, tensionless, good energy filled desires, intentions that have the power of steering our lives. And then keep your dream private, keep your dream secret, keep your dream for yourself and just innocently observe how your whole life and surrounding is changing in order to help you, support you in fulfilling your dream. Mm, thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you.